The first six books of Euclid with coloured diagrams by Oliver Byrne. This is an extraordinary uh, book to produce in the middle of the 19th century using actually four colour printing. Uh, so it was quite an innovation, certainly in mathematics, a huge innovation. Uh, the title page, uh, the first six books, The Elements of Euclid, coloured diagrams and symbols are used instead of letters for the greater ease of learners. Uh, this book appeared in 1847 and it's, it's much sought, sought after today and is very valuable. Uh, if we looked at an example of a proof uh, which you would find at GCSE level, uh, there is an example here on the left-hand page. Uh, we have a circle, uh, we have a segment of the circle, and we have two angles. And the angles are, they're red and blue, uh, in the segment of the circle, red and blue. Uh, we want to try and prove that, in fact, these two angles are the same size. And so in order to do this, we actually make a construction. Uh, Byrne says that we draw a red line to the centre, and we draw a blue line to the centre. This produces an angle, a yellow angle at the centre. Now, another theorem in Euclid actually says that the angle at the centre is twice the size of any angle at the circumference. So the yellow angle is twice the red angle, and it's also twice the blue angle. So we must conclude, if it's twice the red and twice the blue, and it's the same angle, that these two angles, red and blue, are equal. And there is the conclusion. And this is all done with colours for the angles and colours for the lines.